There's an increasing number of students who want the degrees to allow them to make a difference. So it's quite interesting, we've got sociology, social policy, international development, economics and social sciences, and all in one department. So the question, I suppose, would be, why did you decide to study whatever you studied? I decided to do sociology and social policy because I've always had an interest in government and civil service work. I was looking forward to doing like an interdisciplinary subject. The major advantage of this degree that I'm doing is it's current. So it actually is changing, it's developing as the world develops. That's a fantastic place. You've got a lot of very bright, high achieving people and that also really helps to shape where you think you then want to go. We have regular guest speakers that come and speak about their work. Hearing the perspective of someone who is already part of the workforce, applying what they have learned throughout their social science experience is really useful. And I feel like the university does that very well, bridging that gap between work and academic. What kind of skills does social science gives you. Being good researchers, gathering the information, analyzing the information, it's key. And then another skill which I find very useful is conducting interviews and just learning how to talk with people, listen to them, analyze the information and then apply it in the best way. Often you will have to present back on something and so I think those communication skills have been what's been really important to be able to summarize and concisely communicate. It's all about that ability to recognize different people's needs and the different structures of society and then see how policy responses can improve qualities of life. Whatever you then go into, you'll have that wider understanding of how what you're then doing fits into society, individual people, and that's definitely something that I've got from the course. Caitlin, you've moved in a kind of slightly different direction, <laughs> so it'd be just interesting to hear a bit about the choices that you made and the skills that you think you bring to your job. So at the moment I'm doing an account management role selling to one of the big grocers. While it's very corporate, I still feel like there's quite a lot of opportunity to make a difference and try and like apply what I've learned and my interests. The thing with the course for me was that you can basically go into anything and it's very much open to whatever your interest is. The sky's the limit. Yeah. So the university is very strong in employability. Absolutely, yeah. Employability skills are really important and the applied nature of the course and the supplementary things that you do in terms of developing your skills, whether that's within the curriculum or outside of the curriculum, I think are really important. And the government research scheme is another good example. Of yeah, it's very competitive, but our students do very well each year. You'll be doing quantitative and qualitative research with a government department. Recent examples would be the Home Office, DEFRA, the College of Policing, the Houses of Parliament have their own social research sandwich placement scheme as well. One thing that I've noticed during my time working here at the university is social science students becoming a lot more confident about going for things that perhaps in the past they wouldn't have done. And that's mirrored in how employers seem to be far more keen to recruit social science students as well. And the things which employers very much have on their minds, things like diversity, sustainability, the research skills naturally feed into the strengths that social scientists have. We often think about it as government, public sector and charity, but in actual fact I think a lot of our students move into business and corporate sector and that tells you something about the range of skills as well as the transferability of those skills. They could be working in development consultancies for example, so looking at things like impact investment or development finance, so that's influencing the financial system for environmental and social good. They can turn their hand to a number of different things and employers love people who are multi-talented so the fact that they've got that variety of skills really stands them out from the competition I would say. I mean, what does the social science do at the end? It doesn't matter what the problem is, it doesn't matter what the challenge is. You take the challenge and you put people at the centre of it and say, right, this is what we can contribute. And I think employers appreciate that. Social sciences makes you that like inquisitive thinker and that challenger, which I think a lot of employers actually really look for. Teaching you how to think out of the box and question everything and just think always, is there a way to do it better? With a social scientist brain of awareness of context and awareness of people, awareness of change, I think that's really important too then apply to a political spectrum. And we do have lots of placement students and grads who do really do that policy influence. So they mm. might be working for a domestic violence charity, for example, and influencing the legislation that's coming up, mm -hmm. responding to the Green Papers. They really do have an opportunity to sort of amplify those voices. Our staff and our students are completely taking their careers in ways which enable them to take forward their own values. I think that's really important and it's a testament to social sciences. So during my placement, I was a business analyst, so I was working with sellers. My suggestions helped improve food security in Africa. At the end of my placement, I had the opportunity to apply for a graduate scheme for that same major tech company. The person interviewing me, he said, the skills that he appreciated most were skills that I've developed throughout my degree and then the extracurricular activities here in Bath as well. 
So in five years' time, when we're sitting back in this couch, <laughs> where will you be? Where will social sciences be? I would go to like a startup, and I've been actually exploring startups which use algorithms to limit climate change. I'd like to be somewhere at the heart of government pulling a few strings, but I think that's the exciting thing about it. You've got this wide spectrum of jobs and you can do what you want with them. I would hope to be sort of like a people leader, but longer term, start my own business. You're engaging social sciences with the world growing businesses or helping with challenges like poverty or climate. Whatever we look at, in the end, social science is still about making people the centre of your attention or your focus, and that doesn't go away.